Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep, the makers of premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to your needs and arrive conveniently right at your doorstep. We've had our Helix Sleep mattress for about a year now and are getting terrific sleep at this point. My entire family has Helix Sleep mattresses. My kiddos have them as well and they're getting great sleep as well. Helix Sleep makes it really easy to find a mattress that works for you. You can take the Helix Sleep quiz just like I did. I happen to be a side sleeper. I prefer a firm type mattress and I share my bed with my husband. My husband's needs are also taken into account and the sleep quiz will come up with the perfect compromise for the both of us. We were matched with the Helix Sleep Dusk Lux and we're getting terrific sleep. It's super comfortable. I love the squishy top, yet my back feels supported. It is a huge improvement to our last mattress, which we inherited, <laughs> and just while it served us well, needed to be replaced. Besides getting great sleep, the other thing I really like about our Helix Sleep mattress is that it comes packaged rolled up in a cardboard box, so it was really easy to maneuver up our narrow set of stairs, and I was able to install the mattress myself. I completely get that buying something like a mattress online might be a strange experience, but Helix Sleep offers a 100 night sleep trial. If you're not happy with it, they will pick it up and give you a full refund. They also offer financing options and flexible payment plans. And if you live in the US, shipping is free and the mattress will arrive right at your doorstep. So if you'd like to start getting some great sleep, click the link down below or head over to helixsleep.com slash to see how you can receive up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. Big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and for their continued support so I can make better videos for all of you. All right, my lovelies, today I'm gonna to show you what unrestrained online Daiso shopping looks like. If you're not familiar with Daiso, I'll put a link down below to a very old video I did. I'm talking 10, 11 years ago, where I walk through a 100 yen store. Today, as many of you know, dollar stores are no longer really dollar stores. It's more like a $1.50, $1.25, and in this case, $1.75. But for all intents and purposes, and generally speaking, I'm still gonna call it the dollar store or the Japanese version of a dollar store. Now, one of the biggest Hyakuen chains is called Daiso, and now they've come to the US. And I did a big purchase online because now they you can do that. 10 years ago, you could not, but today you can. And, and, and my... They, this, this is what I ordered. <laughs> I went nuts, totally unrestrained craziness. Like dollar stores, Daiso also has items that are not $1, $3, $5, but that's about it. So I did find a few of those items and purchased those as well. Complete impulse buys, things that I found interesting, curious, and just wondered about. This is at least enough to make two videos, if not three. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see everything. But today I want to share with you some of the magical, wonderful things that I got. Number one, ta -da! hello there. Do you know what this is? This is a banana case. This is to store your banana. Banana meaning your lunchtime snack. <laughs> and I suppose it's supposed to keep it from bruising because you've got this shell, but it's enormous. And it's perforated here so the banana can breathe. And this part comes off so you can insert the banana inside, but it also opens up like that. Here's a big banana. And let's place it inside. Look at that. That's like a perfect fit. Close that up and we just put this onto here like that. The banana does fit. It fits surprisingly well. Now if you've been to Asia you may see lots of women wearing these and this is a sun visor. 200 yen version. I myself, after living in Japan, find I feel strange when I'm not wearing a hat going outside. I just got used to always covering up, but uh, I've never owned one of these. Now this goes like this, and then you tilt it like this. So you could go like this, like you could just walk around like this, and, and you know, I can see just fine because it's completely transparent. Although you, I'm not sure what version you're seeing of me, but, but, and then you go like this, 
when you want to interact with people and and such see i wish this wasn't bent i think if i put a rubber band around it it got crushed in on root so i'll put a rubber band around it so that it doesn't do this but there you go sun protection i purchased this for 500 yen this lovely thing is a collapsible bucket so just push this out very good build quality and it holds 7.5 liters of water so i'll probably keep this in my car i can't tell you how many times i need a bucket for carrying random things and the thing i love most is that this stores flat so that it doesn't take up much space look at these look how stinking cute these are tiny little ziploc bags that are in the shape of a corgi so stinking cute look out, look out, look out. and then it says fluffy friends welsh corgi and it's a tiny little ziploc bag what in the world is this this is a portable toilet a bag that has some of that polymer fold it down oh that's genius because it's got some rigidity to it and it's a soft styrofoam it keeps it open let's simulate what would happen with some water and pour that into the oh that was about one cup of water oh my gosh amazing it immediately solidifies look at that so cool so then you would zip this up place it into the provided plastic bag and dispose of just like you would a doggy poopy bag and i want to show you the polymer look jellied mass these are hello kitty bottle toppers Whoa. red bow and hello kitty with the pink bow oh oh come back and this goes up through the top and that allows us to get the water all the way to the bottom although my bottle is a little bit large we have a little flip top with kitty john Little reusable bottle and it works great to build quality and the sternness of the plastic is great cute fits standard water bottle and then this one has a wide mouth top yeah both of them work well does it leak and it doesn't leak Daiso also has a bunch of toys like this <laughs> I could not resist getting myself a little rubber chicken. Actually, I should say I could not resist getting this for my kiddos. And it's it's so great. So not only is it a rubbery chicken, but it sings. It is very, very annoying, but just super delightful. And this is 100 yen. Scone. So it's kind of like a spork, but it's a scoop spoon. And it's supposed to take out the chunks because it's perforated very solid construction and it has a little edge here so the spoon doesn't sink down into your bowl there are teeth on the tines to keep the noodles from slipping now a lot of people have noticed in my japanese taste tests and especially my candy making kits so there is a lot of plastic lots of plastic packaging while i live there there's also a lot of separation of plastics into different types of plastics People are very, very conscientious about sorting their trash. You must sort your trash correctly, putting all the different plastics for recycling, for glass, all the way down to this type of plastic. So yes, there is a lot of packaging, but people do take a lot of time to sort and get things recycled as well. The last time I had this reminds me of when I tasted seafood ramen flavored soda. What? If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link down below. And look, the fork works beautifully. I usually eat my ramen noodles with chopsticks, so this is a little bit strange, but here we go. Eat the takimasu. Mm, it works fine. Just very much like a spork. This is much wider than a typical spork. Push that in there. And yeah, it does strain out a little bit. And if you want to have some broth, suppose you just sip it out of the cup the scoon totally works exactly as described 
Would I use it? Probably not. And this is a stretchable silicone wrap. It's completely transparent, but there's a backing on it that you peel off. Wow, it smells a little chemically. And then you, oh wow, look at that. And then you can just stretch it from all sides and it sticks beautifully to the glass. Wow! It says you can put another item on top. Yes, indeed. Wow. So if you store your things in the refrigerator in glass bowls, this is a pretty cool thing. This is a car seat hook. You hang it from the headrest in your car so that you can hang your bags or whatever you like from the back seat. So you don't have to put your purse or anything on the floor. Isn't that great? Such a specific thing. Very good build quality. We've got metal parts, good rugged plastic. Very, very handy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Now, I'd never seen this before until I moved to Japan and these are cotton swabs, cotton buds that are black. And the reason why they're black is because <laughs> many people in Asia have dry, white, and flaky earwax. It's a genetic thing. I myself have included in that. And it's the same genetic mutation that allows us not to have body odor. I was told this by my lovely sister-in-law who is a genetic counselor and I was just flabbergasted by this. I'll put links to articles about it down below because if you use a white cotton swab, you don't really get to see the grubby stuff because it's the same color as the cotton swab. But if they're black, you do. They come in a really great container. And look, there's a little tab here. That is so nice. So you can grab one of the cotton swabs. So thoughtful. These have little nubs on them. Can you see that? So you can get your ears extra clean. <laughs> All right, we know I have to try it, right? You're not supposed to stick cotton buds into your ears. That's what doctors tell you not to do. So I'm not recommending you do this. I'm just doing it for myself. Oh, <gasps> this is TMI. I don't know, friends. Tie a little bit. Ta da! And I would not have been able to see that little bit of earwax had this cotton bud not been black. Love it, love it. I did not realize that this container would have this very convenient pull up dispenser. So I got this also at Daiso. The way this works is you press this and your cotton buds come up and then you push this down and they hide down. So you lift this off. Convenient cotton swab dispenser. Squeezy yum. Banane. <laughs> Squishy banana toy. I had to buy it because I didn't know what it was. It says banane. Restore original shape. Roll or pat. No idea. No idea. <laughs> there it is. Oh my gosh, it feels great. Look, you squeeze it. And it feels and sounds like there's sand or something in it. And you can stretch it. Strange. Look. It smells like a scented eraser. It, I was expecting it to be rubbery, but no. It's just looks like a stretched Armstrong, but in banana form. Wow. <laughs> this is for your laundry. In Japan, many people do not own dryers. You dry your clothes out in your balcony and that includes all your little tiny bits, your underoos and your socks. There you have it, everything's hanging. Then when it's time to take everything down, you've got them paired together. So simple, so easy, contained, efficient, small, love it. Another kitchen gadget. This is a collapsible silicone funnel. Smushes down and then when I want a funnel, I just pull it out. Yeah, funnels take up a lot of room, but if they squish down like this, they don't. Love that. This is an electric eraser. Ning. There's the eraser. This part separates. And there's our little motor. I have to say the build quality is pretty good. I think architects and draftsmen used to have electric erasers. They had a lot of erasing to do. Although these days, I think everything has become digital. Let's let's use the eraser. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is such a pleasure. 
You don't have to use much pressure at all. And it does make eraser dust, but not much. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> An electric eraser, what are it again? <gasps> so cool, this is what the eraser looks like. And this is replaceable. You can pull this out and replace it with a new one. Now these, I think many of you are familiar with. This is a pack of eight toilet seat covers. So you can bring these with you, put them in your bag, and you can place them on your toilet when you are traveling, I imagine. So, you know, you can avoid any of uh, uh, butt contact. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, they're individually wrapped. That's so cool. So you can just stick one of those into your bag. Pretty familiar, right? <laughs> Toilet seat cover. But do you notice these two blue squares? Push those two blue squares down and there's a little bit of sticky stuff so that the seat cover actually stays on the seat and doesn't move around when you're about to sit on it. Clever, very, very clever. Some bubble solution and a bubble toy. This one does not come with batteries as well, so I'll have to get some batteries. Press this button here, the little fan spins. Bubble solution, pretty good size for dollar store, I would say. But is it good quality? Not scented, has a little notch in it so you can pour it back in for the solution you don't use. And we'll dippy dippy, let's see. There you have it. This is just part of the wonderfulness that I found at Daiso. I have so, so, so much more. Lots of kitchen gadgets and other wonderful goodies that I impulsively bought. So if you wanna see that, let me know down in the comments. And big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to get yourself a new mattress, click the link down below, or go to helixsleep.com slash emmymade to see how you can get up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress, along with two free pillows. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Ha ha ha.